Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while now, for a few weeks. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how you can get vintage ephemera pieces just by using books, magazines, um, pamphlets, things like that. So this is going to be a quick video because I'm just going to show you things that I've cut out um, and just showing you that you can get really cool images, whether they're kawaii images or vintage images, depends on what you want. Like, for instance, I love vintage ephemera pieces um photos so history books is a really good way to get that also i got this pamphlet from when i went to key west a few weeks ago and i was like oh my god this is amazing because i could get really cool images so you just have to look out for things so you can get vintage ephemera pieces or whatever it is you're looking for you just have to look out for it like for instance i have this pamphlet and it has these really cool images that i can cut out very vintagey, black and white. I love them. Images of people. So that's a really good way to get vintage pieces. You know, you can also cut out quotes. Maybe there's a phrase that you that you really like or maybe dates. Like I can cut out January 16th, 1920 and keep that for future projects. There's really cool images here. I really like these little tickets and I cut out a few of them already. So because I love tickets in my like journal spreads and all that especially vintage looking ones so i have those cut out and i'm gonna cut out the rest um i found this image which is really really cool i can maybe do something really interesting with that maybe putting some sticker thing that makes it look kind of glossy and and maybe even turn into a necklace or but i just thought that was really cool or even a stamp that would look really interesting i cut out these little this looks really cool especially if you kind of get your scissors and start to fray them. This is how I kind of like to make my images look more vintage. If you do this just a little bit, it gives it a different look to it. I did this in one of my videos recently. Then you have something that looks frayed, which is really cool. Maybe you wanna ink the edges a bit more. And now you have something that looks even more vintage and that would look really, really cool in your projects. I cut out these little signs from the corner it's like the trolley tour so i i cut them out so there's a ton of them in these corners so so it's really really cool what else was there in here that i thought was really interesting well yeah i collected like five of these like i took my parents also and i was like oh i'm going to cut out so many images from here but you know you just have to look out for them like this would be a really cool image to cut out as well you know, I'm just going to cut out real quick. The only thing is that, you know, on the other side, you have to make sure you, you're you cutting the image that you want the most because sometimes you might be cutting through another image. So, yeah, and just cut that down. Just like that. And that's it. And I'm going to save this for like a Halloween spread this year. So easy peasy, just like that. Throw this out, my little trash bin is overflowing. What other cool image, like this is really pretty. I love pirate looking images and, and ships. So it's really cool. Yeah, I'm going to get a new film stand because I'm using my tripod, but it's kind of in the way. So I really liked this pamphlet. It came with a lot of cool images that I really liked. Just gonna cut this one down. I'm trying to round this corner here. And that's fine. And then again, I'm just going to get my scissors and just do this. It looks good if it like kind of just rips a bit, makes it look more vintagey. Ooh, ripped it too much. It's fine if it rips. Just like that. Just ink it up just a bit. 
I like to ink over the actual image sometimes. And there, you have something that looks vintage, super quick, super easy. So that's this pamphlet from Key West. And now the history book. So I kind of marked the pages that I kind of wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to have to find it now. But history books are really cool also. So if you're still in high school and you want to save your your books your textbooks then do that as well because you get really cool images like look at this page of this um vintage looking clock i thought that was really really cool this was one of the pages i saved but just cut it down because i love vintage clocks it's one of my favorite vintage ephemera pieces to use i actually don't even use a lot of clocks in my journal spreads but I should start using them and I'm going to use this image for a spread so and I'm going to do journal spreads with these pieces of ephemera that I cut out from my pamphlet and the textbook and I think it's going to look really really cool especially if I use this clock because I love the fadedness to it There, and now you have this really cool vintage looking clock. Maybe you want to kind of take out this white um, spot here, but you can just ink it up, put that in your journal spread. Looks super cool as like a backdrop and, and layering it. So that looks really, really cool. Also, you can cut out super cool images, background images. I found a few that I was just obsessed with. So I have all of these images that are just absolutely beautiful. I love this. I don't even want to do anything to those. I don't want to layer them. Maybe turn them, maybe put them like in a frame. Not a frame, but kind of collage in a way that it looks like a frame. So maybe you want to put some pearl sticker dots on it. Or maybe gems or flower pieces like flower embellishments. But these look super pretty just by itself. Maybe you want to, I don't know. You can get really creative. But look at this garden. It's so pretty. And look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this image. It's so, so pretty, so delicate. And so is this one. So I don't even know what I want to do with these because I don't even want to mess them up, but I'll think of something. Maybe you want to like surround the edges with the lace, something like that. So I'll probably make a video on that later on. Oh, here's another image of a clock. I'm going to cut that out. That's why I had saved the page so that I can go back to it later on. This page, like you can cut out images like this of people, because vintage images of people, really cool. I get questions about where I get them. So um, I'm just trying to get some of the images I've gotten from this textbook. Okay, so these are some of the images that I had cut up. More pictures of people from back in the day. I have Nelson Mandela here. I also have this really cool image, like one of the bigger ones, but this was like on a different page. So I cut that out. So pretty. That looks so nice in a journal spread. Things like this. I found coins. I love coins. Coins are also very cool um, vintage ephemera pieces. Um, I found this, which is really pretty. And this, this is what I, oh, and also some mini clocks that were on another page. So for this... This would look really cool frayed. So I'm just going to do that just a little bit and then ink it up and it'll look so, so cool. I'm trying to be um, delicate with this because I feel like it's going to rip. It's very thin. Okay, so I think that's good enough. I'm just going to ink it up just a little bit. Over the image as well. Maybe you can rip it just a little bit. And there you go. Super, super easy to do. 
and this this picture also i'm going to do that later on i'm just going to put these aside so we can continue flipping through the books to find some other cool images um what else did i mark okay like this like really pretty images like this super simple to put in your scrapbooks or your junk journals or whatever you want um see like this this is so pretty i don't know what i would do with something like this maybe have it as like a background piece but yeah so you just have to flip through here you know there's a lot of dates you know a lot of people like um galaxy themed journal spreads so this would be cool if you just cut this out um what else do i have here okay here's the page with the little mini clocks so i just cut those out and those are also fun little pieces sometimes you know at the stores they sell like very mini tiny ephemera pieces so you have these right here so oh this is a page of titanic i want to read through that later look at this cute little fox if you want maybe kawaii style images that looks kind of not very vintagey but it's cute too words and phrases is also something that there's a lot of in here like for instance this you can cut out the elephant maybe you're gonna do an elephant spread you can cut that out it's cool a cool um font oh this is um um what's it called a christmas carol also there's a page in the beginning here this i'm gonna cut out this because i love it it's like if you wanted some vintage style background paper then this would be perfect like maybe you want to cut this out put that as the background like how i do in my journal spreads you know you can use this area very vintage looking looks tea dyed um so that's also something you can do you know cut out maybe you like this background as like wallpaper you can collect you can collect wallpapers or um scrapbook papers i'm sorry um so you can maybe cut this out and then have a stack look through the book and see if there's any other design wallpapers you like um and then collect collect them you know that's also something you can do maybe you want to cut this out and turn it into a frame let me see how i can do that let me see so you just have to look through books and just um see what you can make out of it like i saw this little image here and i'm thinking oh this looks really cool as like a frame piece like maybe i'm gonna cut this in here and then have the outside border and then just use that as like a frame hey see i just finished cutting it out so maybe you want to put this i don't know you can get really creative maybe instead of that background you can use this as the background and then add something in there um let me see for instance i don't know something like that or Maybe the coins. The coins would probably look really cool. I don't know. You can get creative with it. Or maybe this as the background. But I'll probably do something with that after this video. Oh, some letters. Um, this would be cool. Maybe you like to collect letters. because, Or maybe you want to cut out letters. Like I just found this W. So this would look really cool in a journal spread. Like when you're layering. This would be a really cool piece to... To put in it just like that so you can find really cool stuff there's another one of these borders which i'll cut out later another letter here these are actually really cool see these are really cool very vintage very cool so there's a lot <laughs> that's cute so that is everything that i wanted to show you guys so go out and collect your books or if there's a book you're finishing school and you have your textbook that you're able to keep then keep it and go through it find cool images that you like um maybe kids books kids books have really cool kawaii looking images very cartoonish images like cute birds things like that butterflies so you just have to look and there are really cool books out there so get creative cut them out and then you have all these cool vintage ephemera pieces or kawaii pieces cartoon pieces and this i have this empty one because i just finished cleaning up my room and 
um, just reorganizing and I'm going to be doing a desk tour like a tour of my craft room it's not the room is the entire room isn't my craft room but you know I'm gonna do a tour soon maybe for next week's video so I'm excited about that but I have this and I'm going to be saving my vintage pieces or pieces that I cut from magazines I'm going to save those ephemera pieces in here and then I'm going to get another pouch that I have I have this empty pouch here where I'm gonna keep like my bigger images like these so I'll keep those in there and then in here I'm just gonna keep the ephemera pieces or smaller images but those look so cool that's gonna be perfect in one of my journal spreads that I do this week of making a spread only using magazine images or textbook images so and I'm gonna use this for sure because I love that clock it's so so cool but yeah I'm going to end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this helped you to see how you can get more um, ephemera pieces and journal pieces so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one bye